Hello YouTube, today I will be showing you how to use your PSP as a controller for your PC. You can do it uh, wireless or you can use the USB connection that you have. I'm going to be using wireless because I, for some reason the USB connection isn't working for mine. So first thing you want to do is go download your PSP DSP. It's in the link so it's in the description my bad so once you download it you should have a file that looks something like this right click and click on extract files and once you extract them you should get a folder that looks something like this open it up and you should have three files in there so remember to do this you need to have custom firmware for your PSP so if you don't have it, I'm sorry, it's not going to work. So once you extract it and open the folder, you open up the red one there. Click on Allow. That's DSEO13B.exe. So once you open it, click on Next and say yes that you accept everything. And click on Enable Test Mode and press on Next. I'm just going to exit it for now. Uh, so yeah, once you click on next, it's going to say you have to restart your computer. So then you go ahead and restart your computer. You have to do this uh, so that your computer is in test mode so that you can install programs that have not been digitally signed. Like this, for example. So once you are in test mode, it should be clear that you are because it says test mode up here, down here, and here, and up here. So, on the top, on the four corners of your desktop, it should say test mode. So once you are in test mode, double click on the setup, click on allow, and press next, I accept, next, and next, and that's where it's going to install it to, so you might want to remember that, and click on next, and install. I already installed it but it might ask you if you, you are sure that you want to install it because it has not been signed just click on uh, install anyways so once it is installed actually uh, halfway through the installation it's gonna ask you to connect your PSP to the US connect your PSP to your computer so just connect it via USB and make sure it's in USB mode and it should detect it automatically for you and it, there should be a button saying copy files click on that and it's going to copy all the necessary files onto your PSP so once the installation is done what you want to do is go to computer C program files 86 yours might be just program files uh, and then go to PSP DISP uh, go into bin app and here what you want to do is see this file here you drag it off onto there I already did it and once when you do that it's gonna ask you if you want to replace it click on move and replace and close that up close that too and actually don't close this one you want to uh, run this program again and wait for it next yes and here you once it is installed click on disable test mode and press on next I'm just gonna exit it because I don't need to do that and then you're gonna have to restart your computer so once you restart it again uh, you should be able to this here down here PSP DSP it should be already running if it is not then you want to go to your computer again program files Domino. PSP DSP and bin app 
and psvdsp.exe. You want to double click that to make sure it's running. So once it is running, here, you right click, go to controls, make sure it is on Resident Evil 4. Uh, yeah, and here you want to pick whether you want to use USB or wireless LAN. So in my case, since my USB isn't working, I'm going to use wireless LAN. Your PSB. There. And I'm going to exit out of the USB mode. Go into your game folder. And go to the memory stick. And go to PSP DSP V.2. And click on it. It should load up. Wait for it. Here, uh, I don't think you can read. It says, please select the connection mode. Press X for USB or press O for WLAN. So wireless LAN, which is what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to press O. But if you're using USB, you should press X. Remember, the USB is not working for me, so I'm going to be using LAN, WLAN. So I press O, and it says connecting to my internet. Make sure your LAN switch is on. And here it says connect to IP address, blah, 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 on port, something, something, something. I'm not going to say the numbers. So here, what you want to do is uh, go to options wireless LAN settings and here you want to type in your IP address and the port I'm gonna blur these out later so here you want to type in the IP address that the PSP tells you to connect to and the port that it tells you to connect to click on close and now you want to right click Okay, so I had some technical difficulties, so I am going to start PSP DSP over again. So go to PSP DSP, bin, app, and double click. And it should show up down there. So now what I want to do is go to my PSP. And go into the memory stick and PSP DSP. So now options, it's on the wireless LAN. Well, that setting should be set. And press O. And it's connecting. And that's up. Click on enabled and boom. It's working. So it didn't work for me before because, yeah, be, I don't know why it didn't work, but if it doesn't work for you, try and restart it, restart the program. And as you can probably not see that well, this is my desktop. It follows the mouse. So wherever I put the mouse, that's where it goes the screen. I know it doesn't look that great uh, because it's because of my webcam but yeah so now what you have to do is let's say you want to play N64 games double click on that and go to option configure control plugin control plugins and so let's say analog up is uh, then we uh, push up and it's a six over there and for that one push down it's a seven push it left and for right push it right and you can like set your PSP as you control it for this and press OK let me show you that it works prove to you that it works um, oh yeah since it's wireless I don't need the USB 
uh, I can prove it because some people might not believe me some of those trolls out there uh, wait for it there you go the start button and it's not connected in any way and the only connection is for the battery charging which is up there but that's the only thing there you go There we go. I just want to show you guys that this works. There you go. But yeah, it works. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe for more.